remember I talked about houses for a while ago, and I said we should talk about gardens. Yes. Now, I don't own a house, and I will never own a house, so perhaps there is a big reason, except for the fact that I'm part gypsy, and one of them is actually garden. Now, a garden for me is something that I should stand and look out into from my library window of my English mansion. And thinking about if I go out into that sun I will probably get a migraine. Yeah, I'm not much of a, those guys that can enjoy a garden, um, but of course there is reasons for having a garden I suppose. To me it's labor. I can't see anything inside a garden that doesn't need tending in one way or another. Um, if it's not the weeds that's going to get, it's the grass that's going to be cut, or there's some other stuff that you need to fix, some hedges or gravel or whatever. There's always something. And the more you put into it, the more you need to get to work with it. I mean, if you put some flowers in, you have to tend to them all the time. And why? Well, some of us actually likes this. Now, I won't say that I not enjoying others' gardens, of course not. I've been to castles and stuff, and been looking into those big uh, labyrinth gardens, among others. And that's really nice. And while you're standing inside a labyrinth, and you're trying to figure out how to get the, to the next part, you can always feel that British feeling, even if you are in Sweden. So, I like that. And there's always some, some odd thing, like a park bench or something like that, that, oh, look at that one, that's an old geezer. Once upon a time I actually helped in a garden just for a couple of months, and I don't really know what I did. What I remember, however, is that they had especially made park benches made on that castle. It's called uh, Husby Castle. And they had made their own park benches, but the wood had been gone bad and they had to shift it. And they had done that, but they needed a new coat of paint. So I was doing most of the painting work, and that was fun. It, it was winter, so there wasn't any garden to go and look to. But my intention was to go back to that castle and watch my own park benches in the sun. I haven't done that yet. That must have been at least 15 years ago. Yeah, and I've moved since. Yeah, that's, that's how in, uh, engaged I am inside something like this. As, as long as it, it's about gardens, I don't. I don't care. Another time, this was 1999. I can remember it like it was, well, back then. Um, I was working inside a cultural, it was uh, some sort of show, and it was the com uh, commune who ha held it, and suddenly we are going to have an exhibition called Garden, and I thought, you're crazy man, my boss needs to have his head examined, you can't have a garden inside an old railroad station, can you? This guy could, with grass and all, and <laughs> guess who had to go and water and tend it all the summer? Yep, it wasn't the boss, I can tell you that much. My son even helped me during the, the few weeks of vacation I had, because I had to go up there and tend to the garden, even if it were my vacation. Now, I didn't have that guy much money, so it wasn't much um, of a problem. However, that exhibition became one of the most popular ever in that community. <laughs> and I 
can't understand why. <laughs> I mean, it's garden, it's grass, it's ordinary grass, and there are pictures, and there are old chairs, and old tables and stuff. Okay, one thing, however, could have perhaps be interesting enough, and it was my causerie, because I had written a causerie, and it was uh, also on display. But, no, I don't think that's why it was the most popular. We had a guest book, and we could always count the amount of guests that had made a mark in that one. And the causerie, by the way, had uh, yet got its way back to another place, so that's probably the one and the only time that I ever been published. That's fun. But still, perhaps there is something if you're lying in your hammock and just reading a good book. Perhaps you can really enjoy your, uh, your garden as well. And perhaps it is per se, we are nature people, aren't we? Perhaps we all have a little garden in our heart. Thanks for listening. Bye.